Hello and welcome everybody, I am Adam the Sirius and we are back at playing some Minecraft. Uh, this should be our next weekly update. And as you can see, I have made some progress. And I made some more progress. And even more behind me. <laughs> if you can see the villagers. Um, but that's just a sneak peek. Anyway. Um, in the past week I have actually achieved uh, some things and uh, let's start uh, with this. Whoop. See? I am back at the spawn island. Uh, as it turned out my friend uh, who uh, hosts uh, this server actually gave me admin rights so I could make... Uh, what are these called? Uh, command blocks with which uh, I can actually made a couple teleports that uh, takes me uh, from the from my base to the spawn island and back so uh, my friend my other friend who plays here and he has a base down there actually can uh, well it's easier to go and see each other as you can see he is making a huge pyramid down here and uh, it already looks impressive and uh, wait till you will see when he will build it down to bedrock <laughs> oh it will be really really nice when he gets there uh, but yeah it will take him quite some time to get all, out uh, all these <coughs> uh, stone stuff oh look at that Wow! Look at that starter base. Doesn't that look amazing? Actually... Wow! I am actually impressed. Oh, this nice sound. Sweet! Oh, so this is down to bedrock. Uh, yeah, he will have to work a lot on it to achieve his goal here, and I think I will be back sometimes to check on him. Uh, the teleport is really a nice way to travel between our bases, because without the, tr the teleport on foot, it uh, takes a little over an hour. Wow. Thank you so much for that help. So it takes over an hour to walk it down and um, it was just so much waste of a time. So I don't like cheats, but I don't really consider it one because it's just a time saver. It doesn't give me really uh, much of anything. So we can just go around and give stuff. Oh, he made that for me. Um, honey block, that's nice. But I don't really use it at Trident, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I might try it later on, but uh, not just yet. Uh, so, let's get back to our base. Sweet! And uh, let's have a quick look around. Uh, my friend made... Uh, uh, my friend uh, changed uh, this a bit, because last time when I made this it uh, turned out that I did it wrong and this way it works now and it did it actually grew both sides uh, and I harvested them but I also put down these to try to see if it works like just the normal way or if it works when there is nothing down there or if it works when there is absolutely nothing down there so I just really want to know to test for sure uh, as far as I know, probably only this one will work, but uh, I am like, well, we shall see. It's not really uh, time-consuming because I don't have to look at it. I am building uh, and doing stuff, as you can see. Uh, I haven't done much uh, on my base, nothing in the nether. Uh, it's every, really the same. I really have to reorganize uh, pretty much all my comings and doings. Uh, I went down and uh, do, did some cave uh, exploring and I have found a spawner, uh, which was great. Problem is that when I made this staircase down, 
I <laughs> built this staircase to the wrong coordinates. <laughs> so <laughs> this survey led down to nothing and I was like, oh, what happened? And as it turned out, the spawner is uh, a little bit away. So yeah, mistakes were made. I am still not good with this coordinate system. I mean, well, it's not really a, the coordinates, it's more like the numbers. <laughs> I <laughs> just forget stuff, no stuff down bad, so uh, the spawner is actually uh, here behind that wall and uh, I made a killing area here, which is not perfect, I will have to do some modifications because the skeletons, oh, by the way, yes, it's a, it's a skeleton spawner, As you can see or I already got some stuff. Uh, the skeletons that come down here actually needs uh, two hits. But uh, that might be because I have a bad sword. I use um, magma blocks to make them hurty hurt. So that's pretty much that. Wow, it's nice to get out of there. <laughs> I really have to decorate that place nicely. Another thing that I have worked on is I actually removed the trees from this hillside and uh, I did some extensive land works, as you can see here. I filled up this place, flattened this place and started building my storage uh, system. And of course I used these deep slate uh, stones, mostly the tiles, that I think they look amazing and I am really fully in love with them. I will use them extensively. And this would be my storage room and uh, um, originally I said that I will not remove uh, this hill to make a natural house, but uh, I think I changed my mind, because whenever I, I was here, I was trying to make an outline, and I was like, eh, I don't know. So far, I much more love functional houses um, than uh, good-looking ones. I mean... I care about the looks, but so far making uh, them on a flatland just simply fits me much better uh, because I really struggle to figure out the floor plan or the rooms and everything with the, the hills all over going all around the place, but uh, uh, that might change eventually. So I might just remove this whole hill at some point if I have the time, but anyway, the last update uh, should be this. I actually got some villagers, well, to, to, to be exact, and I brought them here. And as you can see, they are all in love with this place, <laughs> literally. <laughs> uh, they are bred up already, and uh, when I will be able to make... Uh, uh, trading hall, then I will be able to give these villagers a nice permanent home. Hopefully I will be able to make them uh, do many many things, including all the enchanting books that I can have. I mean, on this server there are no... Uh, uh, the trades are not automatically locked, so that will make my life a little bit easier, I hope. So... Uh, I know that it doesn't seem much, but this was a, a, actually a lot of work <laughs> because uh, I still don't have uh, really good tools uh, and um, yeah, so this is uh, harder than it seems. But anyway, let's go to the LTT server and check what I have done there. See you there. Welcome back. As you can see, we are back at the LTT server where I actually made uh, some progress. Not that much, uh, but some regardless. Uh, I have to admit, I have spent uh, at least three days mining sand. <laughs> yes, sand. Uh, because uh, I just wanted to get glowstone, and while you are shoveling sand, you actually get uh, lots and lots of uh, glowstone dust that I could turn into glowstone. I actually mined like a, a double chest of glowstone and like a double chest of glowstone dust, so I think that it was a pretty successful mining set session, but uh, I wasn't lazy otherwise. I managed to bring two villagers from my uh, base 
to here and as you can see I bred them up rather nicely. <laughs> Some of them still have the jungle clothes. I don't know how that works. Sometimes they are born with jungle clothes, sometimes with the that ugly one. But anyway, the other thing, I managed to do the market. Uh, grocery store market anyway and I populated it <laughs> look at them I gave them all kinds of silly names and they are so excited to be here <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, the market is nice overall I guess uh, I have some stuff that I saw here uh, there are villagers there there are two llamas that um, well I happened uh, to find here but I don't know what I will do with them uh, villagers here, villagers there some stuff all around the place horsey with a horsey cart and if we come up here we have some tech experts look at them ooh Jay with his two cents. We have Linus, Marquez, Austin, Kyle, <laughs> Steve, and Paul. <laughs> oh my god. I think that it's much more funnier than probably it really is, but uh, anyway. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Actually, let's try to make a good screenshot for this video <coughs> so uh, this actually took quite some hours I mean building this house uh, and the market took uh, at least like three hours then po then populating it with villagers like one by one getting the rails here getting them minecarted here putting them inside making them sure they, they cannot e escape oh it was a hassle but of course I managed to put uh, villagers to other places, so we have a farrier now. He's so excited. Good job, Benny. Uh, I thought about bringing one here to the bookshop, but uh, eventually it would have taken up so much space and I just like the look it looks already. Uh, there is none here either. Uh, where did I put villagers? I think I... oh, oh yeah, here. There is someone at the office, Smurfy. <laughs> He's not really talkative because he he managed to escape twice, but I brought back uh, him both times. So, yeah, take that, Smurfy. Um, as you can see, the forge. It also looks really nice. The villagers are inside, having so much fun. Mini, handy and fishy. Of course there is horses who will take the stuff. But I still haven't made the upper floor and I think that I will have to figure out uh, something at some point. I just don't really know what because I thought about making armor stands with armors like a storage but uh, we all already have that. Kinda I guess. Uh, and yeah maybe I will make something about the roof because that is totally undecorated too but uh, well we shall see uh, so what else do we have here um, I don't know if I showed it last time but there are actually a couple of people building buildings um, pretty much they are the first citizens here although I have to say they haven't done anything else aside from making these two buildings I haven't seen those two persons here and I haven't seen the third one with whom I actually interacted a few times who took over this abandoned house. Uh, aside from that, a soft, uh, uh, blah, 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 words. aside from them, I haven't seen uh, uh, anyone else here. Sometimes I see a person coming here, looking around and going. Uh, I have some people who use my shop on a regular b basis they buy some stuff from me um, but still I really have to work on my interactions oh another thing 
that is actually an improvement. You see? The road, I built a bridge, more road, another bridge. And uh, this mob spawner, that's very, very, very not effective, uh, is actually uh, built by the person who took over the abandoned house. And uh, yeah, I talked to him that this is this will not be efficient because uh, too close to the ground. I mean, <coughs> mobs are spawning all over this place. I mean, so he went like putting torches down some places in the jungle, but uh, you can see much of it is still dark. And not to mention, there are huge cave systems down there, so <coughs> the spawn rates are pretty horrible in it. Uh, but anyway, I actually helped him to decorate this place. Uh, not great, because I didn't want to put too much effort in it to, uh, into someone else's base. Not to mention it was intended to be a public farm, where people can come and uh, collect things. But uh, as you can see, um, it doesn't really work for the moment. Uh, he built, uh, he found uh, a skeleton spawner that he turned into another farm but I will don't want to go there because that's a huge long walk through a labyrinth so I'm just not interested in that because not nothing nice to see there uh, <clears throat> so this was pretty much my weekly progress because uh, yeah I spent really uh, lots and lots of time on a uh, shoveling sand because I was really low on glowstone and I just needed that. Uh, in my base, I really want to get done with the villagers to really fill the trading hall. I really want to have all the, the books possible that they can trade. And maybe some other villagers to do other things. Uh, it is even maybe possible that I will expand this or maybe I will make another trading hall at the city if I want some other villagers to sell me other things. Because there are so many things like the all the glazed terracottas. Uh, so that uh, should be really nice. But uh, I have also a couple of plans here. First of all, I would really love to figure out uh, a town hall. And... Uh, I had some ideas about uh, <clears throat> making something uh, resembling maybe a little bit of uh, uh, what I have seen online, how town halls look like, uh, but uh, I am not sure about that. I am also not sure if I will leave it here, but the idea generally would be that um, there would be a park in front of it and then the town hall and uh, maybe I could turn the town hall into a trading hall in a sense that there would be villagers in little rooms who have all kinds of jobs and on the side they just sell you like glazed terracotta and sometimes um, so that's uh, one idea I would also like to make a, a couple more townhouses that really serve as house like mine here something maybe a little better if I can manage to do that uh, maybe I am not sure about that but uh, we shall see uh, yeah uh, probably it, it wasn't in the last episode but I also um, made a roof for the mine and also a chimney that was a suggestion of uh, one of my viewers. Um, they suggested to put the lights in a chimney, so I don't have to mess with glasses on the roof, which is actually a great idea. They had another idea to make a flower shop, and I was like, oh yes, most definitely I will make a flower shop. Uh, the idea was uh, given me by Small Squishy, nice viewer. City Hall, a park, I will com combine that too. Uh, wall of ideas. Oh yeah, that's just <laughs> a silly statement. 
flower shop, a rich store. I still have no idea how to do that. So mill and wood shop. Yeah, that's also industrial. Redstone shop. Eh, I'm not sure about that. We shall see. And uh, at the moment, this is how the place looks like. My base with the road and bridges to the villager farm. Uh, the city with some new additions with uh, from other people. Yeah, I made uh, three new bridges too to make this place look a little bit better. But yeah, there are still so much things to do and... Uh, well, I think that we'll have to wait for next week and... Uh, also one thing, I might go away for a bit, like a week or two, I don't know. I really need to take some vacation and some time away from the city because it's uh, so hot in here. I mean, even with the AC, the fact that I can't really move outside because it's so hot, even at, even during the nights outside. So it's just not really comfortable. And I just want to go down to the countryside, see some green for real trees, bushes, flowers, everything, because I like to that and to get away from this noisy city. So I might not be here for a week or two. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, I will see if it's possible to uh, do Minecraft on my uh, laptop. I don't know because that's like nine years old and uh, I never tried any games on it and uh, well it's really not meant to do that. It's not like Minecraft uh, requires so much resources but yeah it's old and it's slow so even if I would be able to play I am not sure I would be able to connect to the internet let alone making uh, videos like rendering, recording or streaming so I don't really see the point if I cannot show you guys because I really want to show and share uh, pretty much everything that I do here because um, <laughs> it's fun <laughs> oh it's so much fun sometimes but anyway I think I should leave it to here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video then please like share subscribe follow me on twitch please because uh, you can see there all the uh, live uh, builds that I do follow me on Twitter because uh, I post uh, daily screenshots and uh, just have a wonderful day everybody bye bye